Hi everybody, this is Robert here at Max Guitar telling you another story about a very nice guitar or should I say guitars because you see behind me and here on this side three very nice and exquisite uh, Les Paul Custom Koas. Uh, koa of course being a very exotic wood uh, that only grows in Hawaii and we asked Gibson to make, uh, make us six of these and we have three of these in right now. So um, you may know the Les Paul Custom as the let's say, uber version of the Les Paul standard. Um, of course, uh, introduced in 1954 and then discontinued uh, after 1960 and reintroduced in 1968. And this is a 1968 model uh, with the only difference that in 1968 they didn't use Koa. Uh, we asked them very kindly to do that for us. Uh, another very nice feature of these guitars is that they use uh, normally use um, uh, ebony instead of rosewood and they have of course gold hardware block inlay instead of the normal um, let's say trapeze shaped inlays uh, also they use 400 series pickups which have have just a little more punch than the normal let's say burst buckers or custom buckers that uh, gibson uses so this is a rock and roll machine it's really um, it, it doesn't have too much output but what it does excel in is sustain. I'll just give you a uh, short idea. I mean, this could go on forever. So it has a little more edge. The sustain is endless, really endless. But also in the higher regions, Maybe a little woman tone. So we already took some pre-orders on these guitars, but we have three uh, available right now. And they're all much lighter than their uh, counterparts because you may know the black version, black and gold or uh, wine red, or even some are white, but most of them uh, they weigh up to 5 kilos. Not these ones, these are all under 4.3, 4.2 kilos. So they're still heavy, I mean they are not uh, for the faint of heart, these are men guitars, let's say. But uh, if you're interested in one, uh, please be my guest and check them out online or make an appointment and test drive these babies because they're amazing. So that was fun. Robert literally turned every knob on the amp and every knob of every pedal. So I had to <laughs> redo my settings all over again. But I'm happy with the sound. It's making now. Um, yeah, I don't think I have to add anything because Rob said it all. Um, they are marvelous. Look at that top. That koa is so beautiful and for a custom they're indeed really lightweight you could stand with this for a couple of hours no problem if you don't have any back problems that is well yeah let's try them out this is what it sounds like clean on the neck pickup And as you can hear, that sustain is also present um, when you're playing clean. So it's not the pedal, uh, but really the guitar that's giving it a lot of extra sustain. Okay, I 
I know some people don't call this clean, but it's as clean as I'm willing to go. Uh, the pickups do have that extra push. Like Rob already said, I think they have the ability to please the vintage crowd, like me. Um, I don't like high output pickups and Les Pauls don't like high output humbuckers, but they do have a nice Nice ability to push the amp um, without sacrificing uh, definition and dynamics. So yeah, it's, it's a really balanced pickup. Right, let's try it with some drive. I like. So, three available. Get them now at Mex Guitar Store. <laughs> Bye.